this like sense of loneliness that like isn't surface level loneliness like it's not just that they are not physically here it is this like deep overwhelming sense that we are alone in this world good morning everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pugogi pod um it's a very bright sunny day I am wearing my new boots, and so we're feeling good, except for the fact that I've been feeling real lonely while being here. Um, yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, I'm Hannah. I am going to be in Korea for a little bit, um, and yeah, I just kind of want to talk about the feelings that I've been having moving across the world away from my friends and family. We're here at the convenience store. I got my chumchi kimbap um wait and also i wanted to actually build my own little charcuterie charcuterie dude i can't even say that word anymore because the only thing that comes out of my brain is charcuterie like i don't remember the actual word for the board but i wanted to build my own like convenience store charcuterie board the cheeses just aren't of my um my qual you know it hasn't reached my standards and so yeah i just kind of wanted to talk about what I've been feeling, because that primary feeling has been loneliness. Um, hold on, let me open my kimbap. That was a lot of food. So yeah, my primary feeling has been loneliness, having moved here. I feel like it's just been kind of rough. I think I'm realizing now that I have invested so much into my community back home that coming here and being without has just made me realize like how comfortable I am in LA, right? Like it is where I was essentially like born and raised. I was born in Colorado, but that's okay. Um, All of my family is there. I have a good church community there. I follow all the correct Instagram accounts. I know of all the cool spots and the new places. Like I just like have a sense of like belonging there that I don't feel here because I'm utterly confused right like my Korean isn't the best and so when I can get around like it's good but even in the small things like like I got my nails done and I like couldn't talk to my nail person to the extent that I wanted to because like of the language barrier and that is my bad like I am coming to a foreign country where I should not expect people to know English, right? Of course, it is a joy when they do, but, like, that is on me for not knowing the language here, Korean. And so, it's like, yeah, I'm around so many people. Honestly, overwhelmed by the amount of people. Like, overwhelmed by the amount of people. But when I'm eating alone at restaurants and doing things alone, like, doing everything alone, essentially, it it's just kind of gotten to me, right? Like, it's been less than two weeks it's been less than two weeks but yeah i think it's been really hard and i have so much respect for people who move i have so much respect for people who move cross continental especially to a country where you don't know the language like i'm literally thinking about my immigrant like parents and grandparents where like that must have been so hard once again glad my parents struggled because i don't know if i could survive that i'm currently in it and like the mental battle of being like i'm not alone i'm not alone i'm not alone has been so tough right because i facetime my family i've been facetiming some people and so I'm getting to like catch up and have human interaction and maybe it's the environment of just like not being around them but I guess it's just questioning like how to combat this like sense of loneliness that like isn't surface level loneliness like it's not just that they are not physically here it is this like deep overwhelming sense that we are alone in this world and that is very like sad and morbid but like that is like truly I think The gist of what I've been feeling is, like, this deep sense of loneliness that goes further than just physicality. Like, it's that at the end of the day, yeah, I have my sister and my loved ones, but, like, we are all individuals and, like, 
it's only us at the end of the day and so yeah i've just been kind of struggling a bit but i will say i had one very cute interaction um so i went to aqualand if you guys don't know what aqualand is it's like literally the famous sauna here spa like korean spa and i traveled like an hour outside of like main seoul to get there so worth it so great i literally like i was fe- i've been feeling like lonely and off and i was just like you know what i think it'll feel really 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 good to just like sweat it out you know and so i sweated it out and it was great and i like got the scrub done and i like always like freak out a bit because i get confused by like what they're saying like when they're like oh i need like flip this way or like flip onto your back you know and so i was like getting confused and then um oh so i'm like talking to this lady right and she's like oh where are you from and i was like oh like i'm from the u.s and she was like oh but like were you born there and i was like yeah i was born there and so i think immediately off the bat it was like oh the sense of like i don't know if she likes me not that i need my like them you know lady to like me but like right like i'm sure they have like feelings towards korean people who don't know their culture and then i was saying something and i was like oh like can you tell by my korean like which is like oh am i getting a little bit wrong and she's like which is like oh no you're getting a lot wrong and so I started laughing, right? And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I'm just going to try to, like, relax and enjoy this. And then later, she was, like, sp- spinning me on the bed. Like, I was, my head was on one side. And then she, like, was like, okay, lift your feet. And she literally spun me around, but but as naked, spun me around using the oil. And then um, I was just, like, laughing, right? Because I almost fell off. And I was literally like, oh, mo, mo, mo. And then she goes, oh. And she's like, where where are your parents from? Like, where are your grandparents from? Like, in Korea, right? Because that's a really big thing. Like, what neighborhood? What tong? And I was like, oh, like, Jolado. And she was like, oh, I knew it. Like, that's a slang term. Like, only we use. Because she was, like, from, from the same area. And so she was, like, telling me about how it's so funny. Because people who immigrated to the u.s like my grandparents age they like still use some terms that korean people here no longer use because the language changes changes very rapidly right like you guys know that in korea they say like ah now and everyone's like what the f is that i i east americano and so they just shorten it to ah and so she was telling me about how people who immigrated they use a certain word for like underwear but then now here they say panty and so she was like oh my god like you need to tell your grandma that and so it was like so cute and it was such like a a human moment of feeling like oh i may not have grown up here and i may not like know the language and i am a foreigner at heart but like i still have roots here and like those small interactions just made me it just like it kind of like made my day like it was so cute um and so yeah i do think that i want to like connect a little bit more with the locals here or honestly anybody here because i think that like again i know myself and i like tend to retreat back into myself right like when i'm feeling alone like i just kind of like perpetuate that because it's almost like I feel helpless, like I almost get stuck. And so I wanna really be conscious of fighting that. And so I'm literally gonna like join a run club. Um, Honestly, so far that's the only idea I have. I don't have any other ideas for like how to make friends. Um, And so if you guys have ideas for how to make friends in a foreign country, please drop them below. Oh, I went to church. I like, didn't even think about going to church and then i was like you know what that would be a great way to make friends and honestly people in this country are so in and out here that like i think like me being in and out is fine you know um and so yeah i'm just like really struggling with that and 
I guess I just want to speak to like how people go through this every day like I know plenty of people who like have shared that they are lonely and truthfully I didn't understand until now like I'm thinking of this one friend in particular and he had just shared like oh yeah like I feel lonely most of the time and right in my head it's just like oh just like go out and make friends like just like go join a run club like just like do something about it but it's not that like you can do all those things and still feel so lonely at the core and so I think what and so I think like advice wise like I just get kind of stuck here because I don't really know what to do about feeling lonely at your core I think it's like you have to be comfortable you know being alone and like dude I'm comfortable being alone physically like I go to the gym I eat alone like I I literally have been the only person eating alone in like a restaurant full of like 30 people and so I'm just kind of like I'm okay doing the physical. It's the deep feeling of loneliness. So we're going to explore that a bit more. And so I guess like all of this to say, I'm really trying to fight the the doom and gloom of like physically being alone and in a foreign country. It feels a little doomy and gloomy. Like I know it's a really sunny and bright day, but like the last couple days here have been so cloudy. So sad, honestly. Because I think that, like, when I get into this mode, I can kind of, like, dig the hole deeper for myself, right? Like, I know how sad I can be because I've experienced it. I guess I've never really explored, like, how lonely I can be. I don't think I've ever really felt like this. So this is a new one for me. And so I guess for those of you who are feeling similarly, who are feeling lonely as well. I guess I just want to encourage you to like keep going because the good thing about time is that it passes and so things never stay stagnant. Like, yeah, things can get worse, but things can also very much get better. Like if they are at their worst, there's nowhere to go but up, right? And so I am very much at a point where things can always get better. And so I hope this episode made you feel less alone if you do feel alone. No solutions here, um, because I'm still trying to figure it out. I would actually love your guys' advice down below. Um, But yeah, I hope that you guys just continue on. Keep your head up high. That's what I'm trying to do. Trying to distract myself a little bit. And just like find joy in the little things, in the little interactions, I guess. Um, Well, that's... That's it for this episode. Catch me next week. Let's see what I'm feeling next week. Because feelings pass. Emotions pass.